Okay, now let's continue our lesson on scalar and vector. Here's the questions from UPS 2008 and 2009. Uh, question 1b, yeah? we look at question 1b. So let's read the question together. So, uh, yeah, question 1b. So here's the diagram and here's the question. Yeah, Let's read together. Vectors P and Q are shown in figure 1. So here we have two vectors, uh, P and Q. Determine R if R equal to P minus Q. Ah. So please take note. Huh? Here, uh, here he mentioned it's a minus. Uh, minus. Hmm, we just draw up. Uh, we are use the highlighter. Uh. Sometimes use highlighter is better. Uh, highlight this one. Yeah, the the this this one. Uh, this one, the negative here. Okay. So uh, how to find the R? Uh? Last time is a uh, resultant vector is p plus q, but this time is minus. So how to do this? Uh? Okay. So do you see that? Uh, actually, if you if we try to understand this r actually is p plus negative q uh, p minus q actually means p plus negative q okay same meaning uh, so this one this is a positive q so if negative q actually it means that is the the opposite side ah uh, the opposite and uh, this is the negative q okay uh, so, positive Q, negative Q. So, if you um, want to find R, R means the P plus the negative Q. Uh, P plus negative Q. P minus Q means P plus negative Q. That means this P and negative Q resultant together. Uh, P plus negative Q. So, uh, that means this one can be ignored. No, 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 ex not exist anymore. Okay? Uh, uh, but uh, this is the one way of doing. But there is another way which is uh, easier to do. Uh. I teach you the easier method. So maybe we can uh, no need to ignore this one. Okay, uh, we maintain this one. Okay, now uh, the easier way to do this is um, we do we find um, each vector component first. Yeah, resolve them. So we know that um, okay, resolve to x and y component. Uh, so how to do this? So uh, okay, p. So resolve the p, and also resolve the q. Uh, okay, first we resolve the p. So this is the component of p, f, x and y component. So how to do this? How to do this? So, uh, okay, let's find out the P. So, right here. So, for P, it's actually, um, we have uh, the X component should be, uh, you know, uh, important thing is you must know uh, the direction. Going up positive, to the right positive, going backward negative, downward also negative. Okay, uh, this is very important. So, for P, resolve into components. For X component, we have negative. Yeah, because going to the left, negative. Uh, 5.6 uh, cos 30. Okay. Uh, X component is I. And then we have what? We have um, uh, the Y component going downward. So it's negative, uh, negative 5.6 sine 30 j ah okay uh, meter All right meter so this is the p okay p so in the end we get the answer after calculate i get negative 4 point uh, 8497 i and then negative 2.8 uh, J. 
I try to maintain as many decimal places as possible. Uh, the best is four decimal places. Yeah, to be more accurate. Uh, that is P. Now I want to resolve the Q. Resolve the Q. Q also has component X and Y. Okay. So how to find the Q? So the Q component we have. Um, so for the X component we have uh, positive. Uh, going to the right is positive. 4.8 cos 20i and then going up going up is positive also uh, positive 4.8 sine 20j okay j sine 20j cos 20 sine 20 okay so this one after calculate we will get uh, 4.5105i and then plus 1.6417j okay that's the calculate calculation so we got already p and q in unit vector form ah we call this this are what we call the uh, u uh, sorry sorry <laughs> Uh, these are what we call the unit uh, sorry lah I better not use this colorful I'm so sorry okay uh, what we can say is um, uh, these are what we call the unit vector form okay unit vector form because the we have the ij you know the ij so once you have ij, it's easy already. Ah, then how to do this? So how to find the r? How to find the r? Just now r is just now r is p minus q. Ah, p minus q. So you just put inside, put inside the value. Ah, okay. I put inside the value negative four point eight four nine seven. Put in the p p vectors. Uh, I minus 2.8J uh, okay and then minus the Q Q is um, uh, 4.5105I uh, plus 1.6417J uh, okay uh, so minus huh? P minus Q uh, so I minus I so as usual we do i minus i and then j minus j okay so how do we do uh, in the end we get answer we will get answer uh, so the r we get negative 9.36 i uh, minus 4.44 j uh, that's our r that's our R. Okay? Uh, in unit vector form. But the question he asked for... Did he ask for unit vectors? No, he just asked for uh, vector R. So, he didn't say unit vector. So, you need to find the magnitude and direction. So, this uh, is not enough. You need to further elaborate. Find the magnitude of R. So, the magnitude of R... So the magnitude of r is equal to so you need to square root uh, square root so take the negative 9.36 square and then the negative 4.44 square uh, find the magnitude so the answer we will get 10.36 meter uh, that's our magnitude okay now Vector, you need to give uh, both. Vector, important thing is you must un you must remember. Vector, you must give both magnitude and direction. Okay? Uh, important thing is you must know this. Vector, you must give magnitude and direction. Just, just Now, we only get the magnitude. 
uh, now we need to find the direction some more yeah so before we find the direction draw out the final vector uh. draw out the final vector so the final vector we get is actually um, uh, based on the unit vector based on the unit vector we can draw the final vector so the final vector is actually this one negative 9.36 i okay the i and then the j going negative downward uh, negative 4.44 j okay uh, and then these two combined is our vector r this is our vector r understand uh, so so important thing is we must find the direction now we need to find the direction theta uh, this theta is actually below the negative x axis okay uh, so let's find out the theta let's find out theta tangent theta is equal to um, this modulus uh, no y over x y over x negative 4.44 over negative uh, over x negative 9.36 ah we need to modulus remove the negative uh, remove the negative because we only want the uh, small angle uh, we want positive value here so that this one will get small angle so finally we get theta equal to 25.38 degree uh, below below the negative x axis ah this is our answer so we already have the magnitude and direction this is our answer magnitude and direction 10.36 meter at direction 25.38 degree below negative x axis okay so if you like the video uh, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends thank you bye